Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Tenchu Z. It's been a little while, because YouTube was having some problems with uploading videos, but that seems to be resolved, so let's do more Tenchuing. Not sure what we've got going on in our... shush. In our um, skills here, so let's take a look. Okay. New! Rice 1! Create up to two rice balls in the middle of a mission! That you're defenseless while you do it. I think rice balls restore your health, so that skill for a thousand is probably worth having. I don't know if it'll have if it'll have to uh, replace one that I'm already using, though. Poison no longer affects you. Well, I don't think I've been poisoned yet, but you never know. So let's take that. Um, recover one forms a recovery after being knocked over, saving you from falling to the ground. Okay. It's quite expensive though, so let's leave that one for now. Um, now we have to equip them. Have we got any to equip there? No. Um, ugh. Aha, okay. Right. So where the hell do they all go? Um, okay, Venom and Sense. Okay. No, can't take sense. Can't... Oh, it's at the top. Um, what was the other one I got? Okay, was that a secret art? No. Um, what? Where the hell was it? Combos, physical abilities, no. Okay, yes. Right, I'm going to have to look at that one again. Apologies for the lengthy intro here, but I have to try and find out where I got that from. Where is it? Is it in Secret Arts? It was in Secret Arts, so why why can't I equip it in Secret Arts? This stupid arcane skill setting system. What the fuck? Ah! Alright, so um, although we have that skill, we can't equip it, so that was a complete waste of money. Oh, there it is. Okay. But it's greyed out, so we probably can't use it anyway. Oh, whatever. I've never figured out the Tenchu skill system. It's bizarre. Or the Tenchu Z skill system. It's not present in the previous previous ones I've played in the series. Anyway, let's get to the reason you're here. The mission. Okay, go on the mission. So, the next one is... Okay, they've opened up a load more, but let's continue going in numerical order, as before. Mission 10. Kill the shameful monk. Oh dear, that sounds bad. Okay, so we're back into the temple. Don't know if it's the same temple. I, I would imagine it probably is. And we have to assassinate Rinzetsu the monk. He's abusing his position for his own gain. We must punish him. Presumably by stabbing him in the back. Yes. Go! We have orders to kill Rinzetsu the monk. He's an Ogawaran monk, kidnapping Goda women. Well, yeah, that is an abuse of his position. So it's not just that the government of Ogawara is hostile and possibly evil. Even its monks are evil. We can't trust Ogawara to regulate its own evil monks because it's an evil country. So he must atone with his life. Fine. Punish the shameful monk in his tall hat. Become one with the darkness. It's a shadow. <laughs> Ew. So he's just an old lech, basically. But he's kidnapping women from Goda to lech over. Can't have that. Okay, it looks like this time we actually start at the rear of the temple, I believe. I think this is the big building that I broke into the last time. The last time we were here to search for the guy I was meant to kill then. So for some reason they started at the back. Okay. I would assume, since we've started on this side, that he's probably not going to be in this building. But it might be worth checking anyway. I don't know. Let's see. Any guards patrolling? Don't see any. 
So I might be able to bust in without too much difficulty, depending on what he's doing. What are you up to? Just has his back to me. Let's see if I can pop up behind it. Oh no, there's two of them. Okay. I need one of you to go away. And then I can deal with the other one. Go on. Go on. could try and lure one of them out by making a noise, but it's not easy to do. I can't just knock on the wall. Ah. Ah. Okay. But where is he now? I think he's in... There. Ha! And down you go. Yeah. Skillfully done, if I must say so myself. Now I suppose we wait for his buddy to come back. He'll probably patrol back this way soon enough. Put my sword away. Okay. Don't see him. And whoever I'm detecting on the radar is not moving at present. There might be someone in that room there. But, judging by the radar, it's probably someone directly opposite this way. So let's have a look. Okay. Looks like... Is that a civilian? Can't tell. Ooh. No, I think it's a guard, actually. Let's try to get across and take him out while he's asleep. Yeah. Okay. So put him down. Unfortunately, it looks like we can't close the door, so hiding him is going to be a bit of an issue, but I'll stash him here around the corner. Hopefully that'll keep him out of sight. There's no one much on the radar at the moment. Ah, that guy's coming down. I think that's the other one who was there at the entrance before, so keep tabs on him. He may come a little bit closer, but we have to keep our eyes peeled for other people approaching from other directions as well. Okay. Let's go and get in there. Oh, good call, since there's a guy right there. Is that in here? Anyone? No? Okay. Where's he gone? Around the corner? Hmm. Come on. Come back up this way. Come on, you bastard. Get back here. There he is. And rapidly just go. Now, quickly, drag him. No, no. Ugh. It can be difficult to steer this dragging thing. Okay. So drag him out of sight in here, because it's quicker than killing someone theatrically and then having to pick up their body. Okay, number is still pretty high at the moment, it's still in the 50s, so we're detecting someone else on the radar. Um, but it looks like, yeah, the number gets higher when we roll this way, so it's someone out the front of the building. That's fine. Now, we've got at least one guy patrolling in this room at the end of the corridor. But I seem to remember there were two people in that room the last time. And as a result, we decided not to go through it. Okay, he hasn't seen me by some miracle, but it looks like there's only one guy in there. So hopefully, once he continues pacing, we can get in there, take him down. Yeah, die by these pots! Bet that's not the way you imagined it, is it? Assassinated, besides ceramic ornamentation. Okay. So I think that's the house pretty much cleared out. So I'd say it's safe to assume our target this time is, as expected, not in here. So, back up on the wall. And then I think probably over the roof, rather than all the way along the wall. Hello, last approach. That is my friend's band, incidentally. Okay. So let's hop over to the small house. And what have we got? 
guard. That's probably the guard we were detecting on the radar when we were inside. But it could also have been that... Oh, he's gone now. That guard over there in the garden. So, let's wait for this guy to patrol back over this way. We'll hide behind the crest of the roof to try and minimise the chance of being spotted. And when he patrols back over here, we'll take him down. As usual, it's probably not strictly essential to eliminate him, considering we're probably just heading that way. But you never know where you might end up running to in a panic, so the fewer guards there are present, the easier it'll be if things go badly. Ugh, he's walking away. No! Ugh! Look, all the delicious things are over here. Donuts and women and... Oh, God, I don't know. What does samurai like? Donuts and women sounds about right to me. Okay, he's finally coming back. So, once he's passed by our current position... No, don't turn and talk to your friend. You spoke to him a moment ago. Nothing's happened since then. You can't possibly have any news to catch up on. All right, Dave. Nothing much changes around here, does it? Come on, down we go. Oh, he's wearing a basket head. I thought that was a monk thing. Pretend monk! Well, you work for an evil monk, so I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Actually, he doesn't have a sword or anything. So he could actually just be murdering a civilian here. But I'm going to assume not. <coughs> okay. I'm surprised my lips are strong enough to continue gripping this knife in my mouth all this time. Particularly through a cloth. Wow. That's a true ninja skill. Okay. Now. I don't know what's going to be in the garden this time. If there's another dog, then it might be worth just letting that guy live. I can't tell from here if there's a dog. Let's see. Mm, I can't tell. There's another guy over there. Oh, fuck it. Okay, let's just go this way. So, there's a guard down there. Um, I don't see any others over here, so should hopefully be just that one guy. And we can roll off this wall, manage not to st sustain any injuries despite forward rolling off a 20 foot high wall. But yep, yeah, off we go, and down. I would have thought that rolling off a wall and landing on your back on the ground would actually be noisier than climbing down in any other way. But never mind, this is Tenju, and only ninja rules apply in Tenju. Okay, sheath our sword again, and then get out of the bushes. So, our target... Oh, we're very low to the ground here. Not used to it. Our target should, presumably, be somewhere in this complex of buildings. I mean, he might not be in the building at all. I suppose that's possible, but... My experience has been that uh, assassination targets are in buildings. Okay, there's this guy. He's going to need dealing with. But he's facing this way at the moment, and I don't want to come down on the open courtyard side of him. Ah, oh, no, don't go away. Ugh. This is inconvenient. Okay, let's try this. Oh, there's a pit there, so I'll need to be careful if I roll out to attack him. Come on, turn away, turn away. There we go. Oh no, his buddy spotted me, I think. Drag him out of sight, drag him out of sight. No, 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 don't catch me. <sighs> okay, I think we're going to be okay. I'll keep my sword out in case I need to perform a swift, by which I mean long and theatrical, kill on his friend. Okay, sheath it now, since we seem to be in the clear. Okay, I would guess, if I were to guess, that the target is in there, because I seem to remember seeing those brightly coloured banners in the cutscene where he was lasciviously chasing that poor defenceless Goda woman. Okay, now, I'm going to have to go back over to the wall for a better view. Okay, there's that guy. So we've got at least two lantern guys in the courtyard. 
And this one doesn't come any closer than that. Could be inconvenient. All right, all right. Let's do this differently. Oh, of course there are guards outside the walls as well. That could be tricky. Ah, shit. Okay. Let's go up here. And go round to the far side of the courtyard. Without sliding off the roof, hopefully. Yeah, and go over here, onto the building that I believe the target to be in. And bypass all those bastards in the middle of the courtyard altogether. But I do anticipate several guards around here. So, hop over onto the wall. Fuck, that's a guard right there. Shit. Oh, fuck, and there's one right there as well. No, oh, no. This is just a heap of rags in the corner. Behind this, I don't know, garden furniture. Okay, in the clear. So, need to need to get him, and he's an archer as well, so he probably has good eyesight. I know you don't know why I jumped there, because I was indeed holding the stealth button, so I shouldn't have performed a jump. Hello, Northlander! Everyone's coming online today. Okay. Um, actually, that might seem like an odd remark, but one or two people came online during my Agent Kendall video that I filmed a few minutes ago as well. So it seems like everyone's coming on night, online tonight, Sunday evening. Okay, after him. After him. Down he goes. Don't think anyone else will patrol back here. Going to take a gamble on that since there's really nowhere to hide him. There's that guy up there, but hopefully he's not going to be an issue. Don't know where the door is. I would assume it's on the front, but it isn't. It's on the side, which makes my job as an assassin a lot easier. So, I can hear the woman screeching, open the door, roll aside, there he is, the little fucker, okay, here he comes, wait for her to pass, wait for him to pass and then, get off her, pervy old bastard, die, I have killed your perversion, <laughs> And that's that. That's how we deal with old lechers in Goda. Knife through the back. Ninja 5. So we did well assassinating this creepy old guy. And we got a load of gold as well. Good haul, I'd say. Job well done. So, um, that I think was the first time we've revisited a level in this playthrough Tenju Z. It happens in several of the Tenju games, as far as I recall, at least the ones I've played. It's not uncommon, and we will see more of it as we go along, if memory serves. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play Tenju Z, wherein we killed a monk who has an overwhelming libido. Thanks for watching, see you the next time for more Tenju.